Welcome to a sports betting podcast from pregame.com for the week of January 29th, 2010. I'm your host, RJ Bell. I'm joined by Marco D'Angelo, 30 years in the business, Vegas runner, genuine professional better here in Vegas, star of the CNBC special on gambling. This is segment five of six, big game preview, NBA Sunday, Lakers at Celtics. Now, here's what we do a little differently during basketball. We record these nice and early for you guys, and what we do is predict the line on the game, because the line's not even out yet, and then based upon that line, we have an idea where the value is. So, Vegas Runner, what's your prediction on the Lakers-Celtics line? Yeah, and this is a little more difficult because Boston is playing another game with Atlanta before the Sunday game so that might affect it a little so I'm using my ratings and trying to send what the true line is as opposed to what the fair line may be because the fair line is going to be based also on perception and the perception changes with each result yeah but let's be honest now in the NBA where there's 82 games yeah. any result no matter how extreme it would seem to me and let's just start the conversation with this before you even get in the uh-huh. line any result is not going to affect the line even a half a point. I mean, all right, let's just come up with a scenario. Let's say that, that the Celtics have a great performance on Friday night and they beat the Hawks on the, you know, they're on the road, they win by 10. Right. Or in scenario number two, they lose by 15. Right. Are we really saying that that even affects that line a half a point? I, I think when it's a marquee televised matchup, it may, only because I think... It may it, a half. What does that even mean? I, no, I, I'm, I think it'll, it'll affect the line. It could affect it because I think the odds makers are going to adjust for public perception more on and that does, televised game. But, but that's game. the question. Does public perception, and we'll jump to Marco in a second, does it change even a half a point on one NBA game? In this instance, we've got a unique situation and it can, and I'll tell you why. They actually play two games before Sunday. They play Thursday night on TNT at Orlando, another marquee game. Right. Then they play Friday night, uh, I believe it's ESPN. At Atlanta. At Atlanta, and then they play this game on Sunday. The average, I call them John Q. Public, if they watch those two games this week, if they l- would happen to lose to Orlando, then lose to Atlanta. And they and haven't now covered they're seven pl- straight by and, then. And and now they're playing the Lakers, who, again, to use one of your words, is the more you know marquee type team, uh, the marquiness of the Lakers. This would be the one that they would have more trouble to win. So it will affect the line. That is if they have losses in both of so those. So we're saying, in your guys' opinions, in most cases, one game or even two in the NBA is not affecting the line too much. But in special cases where it's national TV, right. back-to-back, especially a team on a losing streak that if they lose, ATS losing streak, if they lose two more, now it's like you say seven. Right. It might be a half a point difference. Right, right. But I, I made my number. Boston a two-point home favorite. I made the total 192. It's a big adjustment. They played last year and Boston was actually a seven point home favorite but I think a lot's changed since then and it was actually this time last year that they played they played right. in February so you're predicting two two I'm predicting two and a half and I don't think it'll be any higher than that even, yeah even with drastic it, yeah yeah things. I don't think so either not against the Lakers all right so whenever you guys are off by a half I pre- I go with the tiebreaker let's talk about this game as if it was minus two I think the Lakers are so as much as we want to say Boston's a marquee team and the Lakers are a marquee team I I think there are two different levels yeah. of marquee, and I just think the Lakers are at the very top. Okay, so what jumps out at anyone? Now you got a free pick on this. Game. I got a free pick. On All right, this so game. this is your official free pick, fifteen and seven since the start of football, and your free free picks right here. This I think this is a great spot for the Lakers, even though the Lakers are in a major negative. This is their seventh road game, uh, seventh of eight. This is an yeah. eight game road trip, just unprecedented to have this long of a road trip in the NBA, but I'm flipping it around and I'm going against the Boston Celtics. Tough weekend for the Celtics. They're playing between Thursday, Friday, and Sunday. Three games, four Two days. big conference games. These are three, all three games are major marks. I'm saying Orlando marking. and Atlanta are, are huge games They're for them right now. They're huge games in the East, yeah. and then is there any game bigger the than, than the Lakers? Revenge, yeah. Garnett just come back from an injury. Teams, you know, 
he's healthy, but you have to get your sea legs back when you come back to the NBA. When you miss games, you know, you get your, you know, your legs, your wind so to All speak. right, so let me ask you this, because we actually broke down another, and if you're listening on the podcast, it's actually the sixth segment is uh, Friday's game, but because it was Friday, we wanted to put it last for those who start listening on Saturday, and we talked about how Boston's po- poor performance the last five games or so, four or five games, ATS, might be the overvaluation of the return of Garnett, but then we talked about after a while, these returning stars get integrated back into the system, perform as well, and the public, because they perform less well than they thought, for a few games start to be down on them so you actually have when the team starts to actually uptrend the public perception downtrends Even now is, is that that's what we thought when we talked about Friday's game doesn't that apply even more to Sunday at this point? It would apply more to Sunday but the fact is they're playing the best team of the three and they're going to be playing a different style of team. Orlando's very physical. The Orlando game on paper you would expect a war. Those games have been played in the 80s and, and upper 70s. Defensive struggles. Atlanta can play both ways. I expect the Lakers in this game to come out running the ball. I expect them to force the tempo on every possession, not to play a half-court game, to let Boston get into that half-court offense and shorten the game. The well, Lakers want to make them run. That's what they're going to want to do because also, even though this is the Lakers, they're on that eight-game road trip. This will be number seven, like you said, and they're playing eight of the eight games in 11 nights all on the road. Um, This will also be Boston's third game in four nights. And the difference between the Lakers and Boston, even though Boston goes deeper in their rotation, they're one of them teams again where their bench doesn't get a lot of quality minutes. Lakers don't go as deep, but when you look at their bench and you look at Farmer, Odom, them guys coming off, these guys play 20 minutes of, of basketball. So even though they're bench players, they're playing as much as some of the starters. And I think, you know, that's going to benefit fit the Lakers as opposed to where Boston playing three games in four nights. I could see them being tired for this game too. I like I like the Lakers here to win the game. I have the Lakers winning it by four to six points on my number. Okay, so th- what's your lean, VR? Um, to be honest with you, I, I, I was looking at this game and I, I, I don't love bet marquee games over, public games over, but I think this is one of those situations where Marco makes sense with both teams tired. Um, I think we're going to see less of a defensive effort and them running a little more. More possessions gives you more chance, you know, for points. And, and I, that's I what pe- that's something that novices don't understand is in basketball and football. Typically, tired teams equal an over because it takes more energy to play defense. Right, where where the public goes in the opposite, and thinking they're going to not tired, the they're not going to be able to, to score as much. Where I think it's the opposite. So you have a lean towards the over. Yes, I do. And looking at the Celtics in general, because we've broken them down now uh, uh, twice this week, is where do you see the point being where Garnett becomes more of a positive than is being accounted for in the line? Well, actually, in one of the earlier podcasts, we did like the Celtics in the game. And I think in that situation, playing a team that they've already lost to twice, you're going to get added value with the Celtics because... It was the Hawk game where Atlanta had already beaten them twice this year. That was uh, my free pick. your free yeah. pick, and I agreed with you. There was value there to take the Celtics, but now they're back home. They're playing the Lakers. You know, you're going to be paying for the Celtics at home, but it's still going to be a reasonable line because you're always going to get a short side involving the Lakers. There's going to be a favoritism. Yeah, and to the, the marquee-ness, as we say, Boston is relatively less marquee. Right. But so I, the this Garnett is, angle isn't going to add points to this it. This is probably the only game of the year where by playing Boston, you're getting the value of going against the team, the Lakers, that are even more highly regarded. Right. All right. Well, good stuff. Okay. So, official free pick Lakers. on the Lakers from Absolutely. Marco. Okay. Good stuff. 
Next up is we actually looked at the next up is the Boston Atlanta. So you'll be able to get that. Remember, that's a Friday game. You can get all of our videos at pregame.tv. And we also have a new feature where you can guess the score. Just go to pregame.tv in the YouTube section and predict the score of this game. If you get it exactly right, you win a hundred pregame dollars to spend any way you want. And if you want to download and listen, just go to iTunes and search for pregame.com.